The early 2000s was a crazy time. Nickelback was still cool along with wet look hair gel and all-in-one water cooling like this looked like this. Yes, my friends, from one of our loyal viewers, we got our hands on an OG Gigabyte 3D Galaxy 2 water cooling system to show you guys just how easy it is to liquid cool your CPU 2005 style. Guys, this is gonna be a lot of fun. That is the original coolant in there. It's still sealed. It's still sealed. This is gonna be awesome. And so is our sponsor. Keep track of weird stuff that's connecting to your PC even when you aren't using it with Glasswire. If a strange device joins your Wi-Fi, you'll be notified instantly. Get 25% off today using code Linus at the link down below. It brings back so many memories, Jake. Like. <laughs> Look at this thing, UV sensitive. Back in the early to mid 2000s, UV sensitive was like a cool feature because you were gonna put black lights in your freaking computer. Oh, you had to get those tubes, Yeah, right? that's yeah. right, you'd put like cathode tubes in there I mean, and to like- to this day, the LEDs still suck, so like- Blue LED. Wait, wait, hold on. That's Perform a feature. What does the lifting weights have to do with high performance in Jake, a PC? you haven't even asked me about this color scheme. <laughs> what do you mean, the orange? This was Gigabyte's branding back oh, then. Oh, yeah, like, I know. I orange had... and blue, it's disgusting. I had a Gigabyte car. I think it was, you know, similar kind of coloring. Everything about enthusiast marketing at this time was full level cringe. I mean, what is with the name of this product? 3D Galaxy 2. It sounds like a GPU or something. There was a case that Li went with this. Liquid cooling system. Yes, there yeah. was. It was hideous. Okay, but hold on, look at this. Nanoscale coolant. What does that even mean? <laughs> World's first, patent pending. By the way, the thing they're talking about is literally a distribution manifold. Do you think they ever got the patent? I don't know. Can I look that up? Hold on. I want to see if I want to see if that's a thing. The product page still exists. Transparent LED tank for refill visuals. So the tubing is clear, but it's got blue coolant, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't look like blue. No, that's definitely Photoshop. Oh my God, it's already a disaster. Okay, check out this radiator. Okay, for one thing, guys, radiators they used to go on the back of the case because internally cases weren't designed for the additional space that the tanks at the top and the bottom took up. So you would actually mount your radiator, either Coolance had a system where you would kind of mount it to the top and there were certain supported cases that you could like cut holes out of the top of it or whatever, but most oh. of them would go on the back on the outside hanging off like a big caboose wart thing like that. And then you'd have to run your long freaking fan cable inside. But that's not the worst thing about this. Look at the color. <laughs> that, that ain't silver paint, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves an aluminum radiator with a copper block and oh, wow. Gigabyte did not have a lot of experience making CPU coolers and it shows. <laughs> this thing is barely even flat. <laughs> Look at, I mean, what are these marks even? What kind of manufacturing process do they have that leaves it looks this kind like, of crap like all over cast it? cast almost. It does look cast. Is it polished on the other side? Like, do those look clean like CNC'd or are they also cast? Mm, no, that looks CNC'd. There we go. Here's a much better look at the block. Super basic pin style block. Uh, inlet doesn't even come down over the hot spot in the middle of the CPU. Um, outlet is directly across from it, so there's pretty much no reason for the water to flow anywhere other than straight across here. Like you're basically not utilized. Like if they had even done any kind of thermodynamic modeling on this, they would know that there's pretty much no purpose to having these pins whatsoever. This thing is freaking awesome. Now I mentioned that aluminum and copper don't go together, but I didn't mention why. It's because of a process called galvanic corrosion. That essentially means that if there's copper in a loop with aluminum, the copper ions that inevitably get drawn up into the water will eat away at the aluminum, corroding it, which is really, really bad for fairly obvious reasons. Now, to get around this, it looks like Gigabyte provided their own presumably corrosion inhibiting coolant that has all kinds of important notes on it. It's designed exclusively this, for this system. Does it say nano on there too? It does have anti-corrosive and water quality stabilization and anti-freezing 
characteristics. It okay. hasn't separated, which is interesting. Step one, shut down the computer. Uh -huh. Remove the power code of the HD first and stop its operation temporarily. If the computer's shut down, why does that matter? Open the water filler point on top of the water container. <laughs> the water filler point, oh, gigabyte. Okay, well that seal didn't really quite hold. The 3D Galaxy system will begin to operate to evacuate the air within the system. Oh, they're trying to instruct you to bleed the air from the loop mm. before powering on your hard drive for some reason. Maybe because you need to borrow the power connector from... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the rationale was there. How are we gonna mount this? Mm, okay, well, let's see what they had in mind and we'll go from there. Jake, I think the real question is how are we gonna mount this fan to the CPU block? <laughs> well, that's what it's for, to, to cool your VRMs I know, stuff. right? It's actually, you know, kind of smart. It's kind of smart and look at this. Well. It even has blue LEDs. <laughs> that's right. That's how they put, used to put LEDs on fans. So this thing's got a couple cool features. I think that's the water level sensor right there. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, there's a little float on there and it's supposed to tell you if anything goes wrong. Well, hold on. I want to see the patent pending water valves first. Okay, Jake. They wanted to patent a rubber stopper and a freaking like a flow valve? control ball valve. Come on, Ooh, It doesn't light. smell very good. Oh, Ugh. it's like fishy. <laughs> Maybe we should wash these out. That's not the 2005 experience, Jake. The idea here was actually pretty clever, okay? So you run your, your main line through here and through here, that goes to your CPU. And then if you ever wanted to add a GPU block or a chipset block without redoing anything, you'd be able to just flip, uh, flip these valves, pull off these kind of silicone plugs and boom. You could, you could run them without having to redo any of your existing loop. Yeah, and they said you don't have to drain it either, but if you wanted to swap said new blocks, you would definitely still have to drain something. Yes. Oh, holy, look at that. <laughs> we can see how it's supposed to set up. Man, they literally meant for the valve to just sit there. No, no, no. Look, it has, uh, yeah, it has yeah. threaded holes. But is that threaded into something? Look at that's definitely just sitting there. Okay, one of the things we ran into the industry a lot before was A, manufacturers not bothering to do proper showcase photography of their products, <laughs> and B, in a lot of cases, not even bothering to compatibility validate them. Half inch special UV tubing material allows for extreme angling and flexing. And they gave you coils too. It's okay. That's not bad for 2005. Is this that for the pump? is actually pretty cool. It has a pass through for the power switch, so it will actually turn off your computer in the event that there is an overheating Over or yeah. a um, or a, like a pump failure. I yeah, because it says there's over temp protection. Okay, Man, this is more featured than modern pumps. In some ways, yeah. Like they don't do floats for low coolant level. They don't do temp protection. Nope. I mean, the system itself does temp protection. But you don't have a dial for the back of your computer to turn the system up and down. Everything used to be PCIe mounted. Something to note is that this was not a cheap product. Now it's time to meet our victim. <laughs> Are this, you ready to upgrade this computer? This is Jeff Gutierrez's workstation. And it's a perfect candidate for what we're doing because it's modern enough that we're gonna be able to actually like, you know, run Windows 10 and modern games and stuff on it. But it's got an old enough case that it still has these ridiculous grommet pass-through things that da 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 da, da early water cooling units used. So this, the Corsair, I think it was called the Nautilus? Nautilus 500, that's what it was. Okay, we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit though. Oh, stepping away. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, okay, you guys should step back, step back. This is disgusting. How? What did you do? I just accidentally spun the fan with this and it shredded my finger. Trying not to eat any chunks. Hey, it looks great now. <laughs> okay, let's get this oh. air cooling trash off here. Is that an LTTstore.com screwdriver? Of course it is. My LTTstore.com water bottle. Is that an LTTstore.com lanyard? Of course it is. Is that an LTTstore.com shirt? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, is that an LTTstore.com beanie? Bloody hell, Jake. <laughs> Actually, we can't know if our upgrade is worth it unless we do a before test. Upgrade is a strong word. Well, it might be, Jake. It is possible <laughs> that, the, no, this is not gonna outperform it, but I wanna give it a shot. So we're maxing out at 
60 to 63 degrees running an FPU stress test in Ida 64. Okay. Well, that tells us what we need to know. Shut her down. Did you want to read the note of the dude that sent it? Oh, I'd love to. It's quite the note. I love this story. I disassembled my family's computer without permission. Buddy DIYs fangirls. See, look, fangirls. Oh, cool. Yeah, it looks great. Sakurai Armory, where we design and create custom computer fangirls full time. That is so cool. Isn't the internet a hell of a thing? Let's do this thing. Jake, how Hi. the devil are we gonna mount this sucker? Oh, I thought you were figuring that one out. Hold on, I'm doing very important things. Just give me a minute here. It's infinitely adjustable. Look that at that. Sort of hey, now show the camera. Okay, Look. be careful with those. Oh, what? It's, all, it's only adjustable one way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any shame in Frankensteining the mount a little bit here. So let's go I don't ahead think and there's gonna be any alternative. Let's I see bet it. we could find an 1175 compatible backplate with the same threading. It's so close though. I know, but it won't work. All right, that's okay. I've got an idea. I will be right back. We can do this. Oh, this will work. This is what I was looking for. Great. What were you working on? Well, the Noctua backplate is long enough. I just would have needed to extend it by about a millimeter on either side. Oh, you'll probably still need to do that because I only have a backplate. Uh, you know, we have power tools, right? Ugh, there we go, it's on. Uh, yeah, but now we don't have, um, oh, I guess we do have nuts. I want to use the original Gigabyte hold down if we can. Now, obviously we wouldn't be having the 2005 experience unless we used our thermal compound from 2005. <laughs> Should we use like some regular stuff, you know, for science reasons? Oh, it's coming out. Oh, geez. It looks like toothpaste. It's separated a little bit. We'll mix up the liquidy parts with the more solidy parts. Here we go. Oh, you're in my hole. Okay, enough. Of what? Wait, is it working? All oh four? yeah, all four of them are in. What about the RAM though? Yeah, what is up with these stupid barb spots? I don't get it. What were they thinking? We could rotate it. Yeah, we could, but then it would be sticking out into the graphics card. I think we just two sticks. go two sticks. And then we can do we... one stick. Let's just do one stick. Very 2005. We had dual channel memory. It was totally a thing. We. <laughs> Linus, the representative of 2005 water coolers. Yes. Can you pass me the cables for this? I would love nothing more. Where the heck are we going to mount that stupid thing? Oh, I mean, it could kind of sit on top of the SSD. It's enormous. Oh, we didn't even need this case. You wondering what those holes are on the PCIe slot? So you can compress the tubing, cram it in there, uh, and get it out that way. <laughs> oh my God, what are these even supposed to attach to? This product assumes that your power supply is mounted at the top of the chassis. This is spaced for a power supply. So it doesn't connect to your rear fan, it connects to your power supply mounting <laughs> holes. <laughs> This might be the nicest cable management I've ever done. Look at this. Tucked. You're the you're the tuck king, Jake. I'm gonna zip tie. Oh, they came with zip ties. Oh, they're like even yellow too. I'm all wired up, dude. You're slacking. What do you mean I'm slacking? I had to go get washers and everything, get this all mounted. Look at this. It looks amazing. It looks mint. Now, this was another problem with systems like this back in the day that I had kind of forgotten about. They interfere a little bit with your GPU um, connectors. <laughs> Can we still get some? Equipment? We can still get the ones okay. we need, but back when DVI was this big, the odds of installing one of these and having it just outright make it impossible to connect your monitor was not zero. This barb design though, it's just like basically a straight cut pipe with like a thick part on it. Do you want some lube? No, come on. Uh, that's your cut finger. Oh, that is the cut finger. <laughs> oh God, you should wash that out. Oh Jesus. Cool on, applied directly to the bloodstream. Yeah, it's on there. I got Ooh. it. Oh, it doesn't sound happy. It's on. Does that barb do anything? I, I'm not convinced that clamp does anything. Yeah, I, I need I need lube. Okay, I just hey, need to use I a different like finger this time. WD-40 or something? WD-40, we're not putting WD-40 in a cooling loop. Why not? Because we're not. Why not? Because we're not going to. Okay, but like, why not? I don't think we're gonna be able to close the side panel like that. Jake, oh ye of little faith. I believe. Here, how about 
Jake, give up. That. Oh my God. How about that? How about those apples? Oh, we should just take the top off and then just. <laughs> I hate this. Maybe with the coils, we can actually make that turn here. What do you think? I think we got this. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's just hitting the, oh. It, see, it's good. Wow, that is. Uh, it's good, no, you. You know, usually I say mint, but uh, I'm gonna go with decent on this one. <laughs> decent. Yeah, we can just pop this off to fill. Oh! Okay, that actually is kind of genius. What it's if good. this leaks? It's good, it won't leak. It's gigabyte quality. I can't wait for this to perform worse. Can you imagine paying $200 and then your computer looks like this? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good looking for, you know, the time. Okay, are you ready to fill it? Okay, um. Okay, you ready, David? He's got yeah. small hands. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, the blue goo. Do you want to power it on? I mean, you're dripping on the SSD, so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh God. What is that? Nothing, it's all good, everything's fine. Okay, is this pump gonna go? If the pump didn't work, that would suck. If we waited all this time, if we waited 15 years to find out that it's got a bad pump. It looks like it's going up, yeah. Oh, it did, oh, it's doing No, stuff. I was sucking on it. Oh, <laughs> do that again. Trying to get a little, Suck okay. again. You're a good sucker. Uh, yeah, keep going. No. Because I'll be <laughs> drinking coolant at that point. I just don't want the it's system to It's already in your up. blood. Who cares? Jake claims that we can actually see the pump impeller through here and spin it. Do you think that's spinning anything? I don't know. I can't really me. tell. I think we should drain the coolant. Uh, I don't. I wish this just worked. This would be so much easier. Yeah, it really would. Oh! Hey! <laughs> High five, baby. Nice. Oh, High five, yeah. baby. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're out of any water. What, a couple times? Ow! Oh, baby, it water. hurts, no! <laughs> Back off! No. It rips, that is a strong bump. It literally has enough pressure to do this stupid loop, no problem. Oh yeah, for sure. That's awesome. It, it sounds like a modem. It's some kind of... Some like product executive project manager dude from like 2005 is like really stoked watching this video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, let's see if the system safely shuts down. Okay, here we go. Here we go, you ready? Oh wow, it rips. Oh wow, it's off. Did it turn it off? Nice! <laughs> the system shut the valve. Works freaking perfectly. Just, you just lose all your work and just immediately hey, shut. Better to lose your work than to lose your whole damn system. Right? Yeah, well, was there really no temp protection back then? Um, on high-end stuff, like modern stuff, there would have been, like Core 2 Duo had it, F-164 had it, oh, but if you were still cool. running like a Pentium 4 or something, then it is possible you wouldn't have it. Oh no, I forgot one of the clamps. I was so on top of it. Oh! And then I finally... You're gonna have to fix that now. Where are the zip ties it came with? Oh man. Good enough, definitely matches the theme. What do you think the idle temperature is? Uh... I'm gonna say 30. 23? 23, not bad. Well, Mind you, that's never the measure of a cooler's Yeah, they're kinda all over the place. The average is 23. All right, hit it with the load. Oh, it definitely... Uh... Does not perform as well as the Noctua cooler. <laughs> <laughs> it like straight up went to 60 degrees. The coolant. Yeah, is cold. Is at this temperature right now, which yeah. is like maybe 17 wow, the degrees heat. in here. I already feel it, actually. It's official. It's worse. What? It oh, peaked at 70, yeah. it's at like 66, 67 right now. Oh. Yeah. And the worst part is that the Noctua cooler had the fan like barely <laughs> going. This thing's going full bore. Jeff, we really hope you appreciate your upgraded PC. Um, thanks for freeing up a decent cooler for us to put on our test benches. Yeah, it really gives me like, um, Linus vibes. Thank you. <laughs> Time to bring Jeff's computer back. <laughs> With half the RAM With and worse cooling. And half of the uh, display connections <laughs> inaccessible. <laughs> All right, Jeff, we uh, upgraded your computer. Wow, looks good. You're now water cooled. Oh, wow. Officially. <laughs> looks fast. Got a little, yeah. It's not any faster. Oh, okay. 
Actually, we had to remove half of the RAM. Oh, sick. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, As an added bonus, it's 10 degrees hotter. Amazing. Yeah. It actually performs worse than the air cooler that was in here it's before. It's cold up here, so I get it. And I hope you're not using HDMI because your port is inaccessible. I don't need it. I'll use VGA. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, no, you got DisplayPort. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got two DisplayPorts that I think you may even be able to get at this one, but your HDMI is definitely quite covered. That's okay. I'll make do. Okay. I have your RAM. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. It won't fit back in though. For Linus. If this is a future review, make sure you're subscribed. Louis Vuitton earbuds. They're probably great. Uh, oh, and Jeff, it's also less reliable because there's sort of more points of failure. Yeah, if it makes you feel any better, when we turned it on, the pump didn't work oh. until we stuck a screwdriver in it. Ah. And the coolant's 15 years old. That's amazing. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations on your upgrade. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to our sponsor. Thanks to Vessi Footwear for sponsoring today's video. Vessi Footwear is known for being lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, water resistant. And to keep you moving, Vessi released their new everyday move shoes. With enhanced breathability and added support, the style is perfect for the adventurous or those looking for something sportier. They feature a pull tab to take them off and put them on with ease, vegan suede lace cages, extra midsole cushioning, and the same water-resistant Dymatex technology, so you're gonna wanna wear them every day, everywhere. The dual climate knit material keeps your feet warm during the winter and cool during the summer, and you can stay dry. I mean, did I mention that they're water resistant? So go check them out at vessi.com slash Linus Tech Tips and get $25 off using code Linus Tech Tips at the checkout. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm gonna do something unconventional and I'm gonna throw to a video that's not on our channel. Why don't you go watch the original How to Water Cool Your PC from 2007 on NCIX Tech Tips. What? It's a similar era. It's the only thing I got that's even close. Then you take the nut 